I've been expecting you. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. We have been invited by Mum to the beautiful city of Bern for an evening of bouldering. Like no other, we're gonna be following the wonderful illustrated guidebook that we have with us here on a tour around some of the best urban bouldering spots in Bern. We're gonna start here. We're gonna be exploring some of the um, deep water solo around this corner and then there's some routes that go up like there's a high ball over here there's a traverse here lots of different options we're going to be exploring and we're excited to get started first boulder of the evening is going to be a deep water solo we're headed around the blood tower on a kind of like crimpy pockety rightwards traverse it has just started drizzling a little so hopefully this is a passing shower Okay, let's see what this is about. But I feel fairly fitting for a challenge over water, a water challenge if you will. According to what I could find on the internet, mm -hmm. it used to be a basically like a torture chamber. They would bring uh, prisoners here and torture them and then they would bleach their skeletons apparently. So, cheery stuff. Good rest here. It looks like it's lacking some holds after this. It's really cool. But this is, I mean, this is such a beauty. This feels like something everybody should just get on if you're a climber or not shouldn't really matter even it's just like like that was just fun I mean even if you fall it's just it would just be a good time yeah. <laughs> the water's like really warm and everything so that was cool nice. I'm gonna dry my feet off and head around see you on the other side hopefully see you soon I really like, I felt very focused, but past the first few moves I like relaxed into it a little bit, felt a little bit more flow. Just trying not to think about the water. But yeah, it was really cool. Nice one. So we've met the group. There's a, a sizable group here. I'm really excited to get to know everyone. Over an evening of bouldering around Bern, we've met the guidebook authors. We're moving on to the next spot in just a minute, but I'm quite invested in this climb. I feel like this one move, I'm just like struggling to find my balance on. I'm ending up with like this like awful two finger like sprag press thing and I, I, I'm not sure that's the way. So um, I don't know if to switch it up. Tactics, I don't know if to switch it up or to stick with my beta. But that was way better. This hole feels so bad. When you look at it, it looks great. And then when you're on it, it feels terrible. It hasn't fallen yet. So nasty, I love it. I just love it so much. <laughs> Making my life more difficult than I need to, I think. Yeah. Good 
good hustle. <laughs> the double guest arm that you had here. <laughs> Just a bit. I was I mean, limiting to how you My first idea was yeah, something yeah. like. Full style, no touches. Oh! <laughs> Wait, do that again. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! Whoa! Yes! Hey! That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you don't touch me there. I think if, if you wanted to like okay. really achieve that, you could go around the hips a little bit more, keep a little bit lower, and I think you would stick it. Because you were going really high up. Come on, full body. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! Hey! No! <laughs> that was nice. That was so nice. <laughs> oh, that's Success. Nice. Success. So I think what first attracted me so much to this project was the sense of um, like re reappropriation or, or reclaiming a space. So in this case, it's uh, reclaiming public space for public use, climbing on buildings. Like I relate so much of that sense of like reclaiming a space back to what I'm trying to do with my platforms. I hope that people who watch my content see a bit of themselves in me and feel like climbing is a space that is just as much for them as it is for professional climbers. I'm, yeah, I'm cooking up some ideas. So we're climbing on, uh, so it's a wall that intersects two parts of the National Museum. The National Museum of Switzerland, yeah. There's all of these kind of like block features taken out of the wall, and that's what we're climbing on at the minute. Okay, so this one that I have been trying is, uh, follows this kind of like C shape through the wall, through all these slots in the wall. Starts quite low, meanders out to the left and then comes back right. And what's really interesting about this particular boulder is there's kind of like a, a crux move in the middle. Maybe not the most physically demanding move, but definitely the most mentally demanding move for me is this rightwards move out from, um, a fairly good hold to a further hold outright where I have to basically cut my feet. Or maybe you can get um, your pulled, get your foot out to so the right. As we all know, I like to keep do like a step up or nearly all points of contact on the wall at once, or at least three. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm struggling at the minute to commit to the pop. Oh man, this is this is great. This is a great pack. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have any favorites on the wall? Like uh, not just of the ones you climbed, but just in general. Mm -hmm. I tried one down here for a little while that was like quite a squinched to sit start. Oh yeah, I heard about that, the traverse. Favorite. Yeah. 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 And Did you I do it? Think, no, I had had a classic like got halfway and got a little in my head about it. Oh. You want to get some pads out and try it again? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Go for it. I'll help you. I'll shout you out. Like, <laughs> yeah. Scream That's you what up. I needed. I needed a little bit of encouragement. Somebody who. Yeah. Do it, let's do it. Yeah, come on. Oh, nice. Come on. 
Come on, come Get it, on. come on. Come on, just oh. <laughs> Good effort. Good effort. Why did I yeah. my head? Yeah. You know what I usually do when Emil is with me? You just do it because Emil can I take it. He can pluck you out of here. Like, like he can li like catch you in the air. Like yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make you stop mid, yeah. mid swing. Just hold yeah. you. Place you down, pet you a little bit. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's you did good. Decisions make the ascent. Thinking. More jumping, yeah, yeah, I like that, I like that. There is actually one small detail. Yeah. You can reach the hold from your left foot, but not from your right foot. You had your right foot like fully extended, and then you can't reach the hold. Yeah. But if you pop this off just a little bit as you go, you're gonna be able to keep the feet and catch the hold well. Mm. I believe, I believe. You got it, come on. I can come down. Yeah. Oh, you went for it. That was a you freaking went for it. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Like that catch? Yeah, I went for it. She's at that. Sick, Hannah. <laughs> Curled up. <laughs> Are you happy with it? Yeah, I yeah. really am. Nice. I like, no, I'm happy that I did the move. I really yeah. am. Yeah. I think. It got a bit so slimy and sketchy at the top, or? Yeah, hmm. I think so. But I think I just got to in my head. Like yeah, I just yeah. got. To, I like overthought it way too much. Yeah. And I think when I was like looking down at the pad, mm -hmm. I like knew in my head that I. Had like I knew I was coming down. Like I knew I wasn't even going to try and go over. Oh, go to I was the just hanging around to try and convince myself I could already made the decision that I was coming down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, while I do agree that like it, it it is good to get to the point where it feel where you feel comfortable falling, you also did make the decision to go for the hold. Like you actually jumped for it. Yeah. No hesitation. So you pushed your boundaries. And pushing your boundaries even further right that's away strange. isn't not really going to help you. Like if you've done it once, that's a massive yeah. step. I, I honestly didn't expect you to do the jump. I, mean, I, I thought you might like statically stick it, hold it, keep the left foot, and then jump down. But for you yeah. to go for it, get the foot up, and like push all of those boundaries, that was I'm genuinely very impressed by that. Like massive effort. Thanks. <laughs> That's so cool. I think I had like in that jump, I must have, even though it wasn't. I don't want to downplay it, but even though it wasn't the biggest jump ever, like I'd. I'd committed to trying. You went for it fully. You just went like <laughs> cut loose, like no has like, cause so I want to point this out. Like when you caught it, your left foot, you know, if it, your left foot was here, mm -hmm. yeah, it'd be a small jump, but you just went for it fully. Like your entire body was going upwards. You were, you were in the move, like yeah. owning it. So it, you committed like a hundred percent to it. And that's, that's, that's big progress in my book. That was awesome. Yeah. But I feel what's really encouraging actually is having um, Emil like talk me through it and give me the, the confidence I guess because I trust his judgment and I think I trust that he wouldn't have me hurt myself um, I think it, it makes such a difference to have someone say like I know we say it to each other all the time where you're like yeah you've got that you've got that and you're like yeah this is just encouragement but yeah I think I trust Emil's judgment so. when Emil says it you believe when Emil says it I believe it a bit more Yes, okay, so I, I'm going to give this one final go. It's really, I've let it into my head and it's kind of like taken up camp in my head. So I want to prove to myself that I can do that jump again. Uh, and then I'm just like balancing a really fine line of trusting right. my own right, judgment and trying on. to tell myself that it's my like head you holding me back. I think mm. your mind holding you back is really helpful in some cases. Come on. 
but then you know the boulder. At the time, it's not. Come on. Free set up. Come. On. It's so different. You had the left foot higher maybe before. Yeah. 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 And then you went. Okay. Come on. Full effort. Come on. You got it. Come on. Oh, yes. So good. Yeah. You're so good. Strong. All right. We got gotcha. you. <laughs> We're right here. We're right here. So good. So good. Nice, Hannah. Yeah, nice. Come on. Breathe. You got it. Breathe. That's nice. You're good. Yeah, that's nice, Hannah. That's it. Test out that lock off. That's it. That's yeah, it. That's it. More. You got it. You got it. Come on. You got Trust it. it. Trust it. Trust yes. It. Yeah, yeah. Breathe. Slowly progress yeah. in your lead. <laughs> nice, Hannah. Come on. You're yes. general good for those on the way now. Come on, Bill. There's one more foot for you. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Boss! We say boss to that. Boss. Smashed it. What are you thinking, Hannah? Huh? Happy. Yeah, I am happy. I think one of the reasons that climbing had me so hooked is that it gave me a sense of connection that I didn't always feel I had or was able to get in my like, real life outside of climbing. I feel climbing has given me a vehicle to explore myself and to empower myself to feel capable and able and sure of myself or at least put myself in environments where it's okay to feel unsure and it's part of the process, it's part of the fun, it's part of figuring out the puzzle. <laughs> it's kind of like embarrassing because um, well I don't know I'm like immediately downplaying like it, I was too scared and I think that I guess like um, yeah just for me it felt like a big personal achievement to feel so unsure of myself and so I guess in like such a negative head spin downwards like spiral and then to be like um yeah just find like a little bit of courage I think the it seems really silly to be getting like upset about it I'm not upset I'm happy but I think because because of the project I'd been thinking a lot about like why it is that I climb and um, I guess like what sense of achievement I get from climbing and the yeah the, the things that I value about climbing that um, mean that I've like made it my whole life and I think that for me climbing has always had this like incredible capacity to make me feel um, brave and capable and I don't this sounds like really deep but I sometimes don't feel that in my real life or like this is my real life but I, I don't always feel super in control of my mind or super connected to my own self-confidence and I think then I was getting a little frustrated because I was like it's the same st story again and again where I just like have so much doubt and it stops me from doing things that I really believe I can do. It's just like my fear is stopping me. So I, I think because all of those thoughts have been swirling around in my head recently, or like with this uh, Burn Boulder project, and I wanted to try and communicate those things as part of like my participation in this project. And I've been struggling, I think, to communicate those things. It just, it really, meant a lot to me to overcome the mental barrier. I 
I just passed this water fountain which popped up like a mirage in the night. I feel it's so warm tonight in Van. But I think we're all a bit, a bit hot and bothered. So let's get you on some. Yeah. Okay. We're more central city of Van at the minute, so it feels a little bit more <laughs> conspicuous, inconspicuous. One of those. And I feel like this is going to be more quintessential buildering, is the feeling I'm getting from this spot, which I'm psyched about. It feels very like secretive and like elusive. I quite like that, it's quite fun. Uh, so I believe this is the door builder, door mantle, and the idea being that it starts on these like. I guess, I don't know what these would be, like water runs here and here and then you end up finishing on the door in a mantle and that's going to be the interesting part I think. I think what I love about the guide because it really captures the, the potential whole like paradigm shift in the way you see environments that are usually um, experienced in a completely utilitarian way, like on your way to work, you don't look at the things around you. Oh, go for full mantle. How could I play on that? Nice. <laughs> mm. well, last time I think I, I kind of I'm down on your shoulders, Alicia. Huh? Down on Alicia's shoulders. Oh yeah. Throughout the project, I, I've been thinking so much about like why is it that I climb? Why do I feel so connected to climbing? What's it that climbing gives me? And I think. What climbing gives me is the ability to feel like I can't do something and push through that feeling. Like I, it felt like I wanted to go inside of myself. And what actually happened was that I feel like through climbing, I was able to overcome that and bring something out of myself that I didn't think I would be able to do. You're going to top it out? Yes. Yes. Of All course. Right. Maybe. <laughs>